right here, right now, on your favorite channel. Hey everybody, how you doing? Advanced Mazda MX-5 Cup at Road Atlanta. I'll be in the Iowa State University, University of Iowa Zippo number 14 car today. I'm starting 16th in a field of 17. Race length is 45 minutes. All right, Road Atlanta. Just picked up this track, made, uh, made this purchase and a couple others for the Advanced Mazda MX-5 Cup here. And uh, Road Atlanta, wow, I struggle here, man. Lots of blind curves and corners and chicanes here on this track. I am using the VRS setup, but I'm about a second and a half to four seconds slower than the rest of the field. I'm getting around here better than I was uh, a couple days ago. But I chose not to qualify with my uh, high number, low seed car, and I'm starting nut on the field. We had one disconnect, so it's a 16 car field. I wanted to concentrate on driving, wasn't sure if I was gonna upload this or not, so there's no voiceover live action as I'm driving. Pretty boring race, so I'll just kind of give you the highlights here and do a voiceover after the fact. I made some adjustments to the Mazda paint scheme. I softened the chrome effect just a little bit, so it's more of a satin finish. On the hood of the car, I turned the flag Zippo horizontal versus vertical and then added the state of Iowa flag below it. Then I also added the Zippo flag on the rear trunk lid. And then I put the state of Iowa flag as my license plate. As noted, the race length is 45 minutes, man. This is damn near a commitment here. This is gonna be a long, long haul. All right, let's roll. Starting in the back here, just gonna have to take it slow and easy, uh, you know, for the first few corners, let everything kind of shake out. Man, it took me forever to figure out this blind right-hand chicane. Then right after it, that sweeping right-hander, man, I, I blew that so many times, <laughs> it's not even funny. I am using the VRS setup, but I did not watch the tutorial, so I'm just making this shit up as I go. I do pretty good in this hard right-hander, then uh, mash the throttle for that little uh, straight and then down into first. I don't know if you're supposed to go into first, but it sets me up pretty good for the long backstretch. All right, hold my own here at the back of the field. You can see that my left front fender appears to be red. I think that is uh, shader, if you will, from that uh, sign we just crossed under. Come on, iRacing, get your shit together. It should last the whole backstretch. I do okay in this hard braking zone with the quick uh, left right. I downshift into first coming out of the right hand right. Again, I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but it seems to help set me up for that sweeping right hander, which is blind, uh, coming into the front stretch. Man, this fast downhill sweeping right onto the front stretch, that's just fun as hell. I thought I'd save the replay to give you some external views, but uh, I couldn't find it, so I don't know if uh, I clicked yes or not. Uh, but anyway, so we're just kind of stuck with uh, in-car here. We'll, we'll take another lap and then we'll jump ahead.
you, baby. All right, I've got one car behind me that started in the pits, and this guy just dove off, so we picked up a position. One minute forty-one point nine two nine. That's a pretty good lap time for me when I first got here. I think I was running one forty-seven. <laughs> And I then blow turn one. I've done that quite a bit too. <laughs> oh man, this is a tough track to master. But the car behind me blew that turn also, so I maintain my position. Alright, we're going to jump ahead to lap 14. That was my fast lap of the race. As you can see from the leaderboard, there have been some on-track extracurricular activities. I am all the way up to 12th place. I never saw any of this. This has just been some time trials for me, so I'm just out here racing an empty track. At a 141.028. One minute 41.027. Hot damn, got a bunch of blue underneath my name on the leaderboard. Whoop, there it is. Leader is on the leaderboard. I'm going to get lapped.
Lap 17, got some fast guys behind me that are a lap down, going to move over for them. Still hanging in 12th place. Uh, this is pretty good for me, I think, really. Starting to work lap 19, still in 12th. You can see I am the last car on the lead lap. But the leaders are coming fast. All right, there they are right behind me in the rear view. Let's get through these S-curves and I'll pull over on that short little straight and give them way, right? No, he's not going to have any of that. I transmit out, hey, thanks for giving me the chance to get out of your way. Oh, man. I suppose the right thing to do would have been pull over in the grass and just give them way. On your right, clear. One on the right side, clear. All right, got some bunnies to chase. It won't last long. <laughs> the bunnies will pull away and leave this greyhound in the dust. All right, we didn't see anything happen, but the last time I crossed the start-finish line, look at that, up to 11th. Okay, had some more lead lap cars pass me by. Uh, coming to the stripe this time, white flag. 
holding on to 11th place, man. This is a this is a better showing than I anticipated. I didn't pass one stinking car, but you know attrition. I stayed on track pretty much <laughs> for the entire 45 minutes, and that's what you got to do. Note that the number 10 car in 10th place, Javier, he's not showing any gap timing. Hmm. Well, what do you know? Number 10 car in 10th had some problems. I moved up one spot. I finished in the top 10 in the 10th spot position. Holy shit. Well, that was a long, hard one at 45 minutes. And not too bad of a showing overall for basically my first race ever at Road Atlanta. Tough, tough track. I'll get better as I run this thing some more. Started dead last on the field, but brought it home in a top 10 10th place position. All right, guys and gals, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and hope to see you next time.